Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's soap profiling and a face shave. I did this shave earlier this morning at 5 a.m., so I just wanted to bring it to your attention and let you see what it's all about. We're going to be profiling HSSC soap and aftershave, Nati Devienza, I believe is how you say that. I don't really do very well with foreign languages, so that's my best interpretation. Anyway, so far, for the holiday of the day, let's talk about National Cinnamon Croissant Day. Never had a cinnamon croissant, so I really can't comment on how they are, but I do like regular croissants. So, cinnamon can't be bad, because cinnamon on anything is pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So try it, National Cinnamon Croissant Day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the shave. Enjoy. Highland Springs Soap Company's Nade de Vienza. This is HSSC's summer scent and was inspired by Dulce and Gabbana's Intensio. It was also inspired by their fascination with Venice and its massive canal system. Now this is a guitar pick that I use to scoop my soaps with. Notice, that's right, notice the badass logo of one of Marvel's best characters in my opinion. The soap consistency on their base is very soft, and as a result can be lathered with just about any brush, and yes, even the famous soap-eating war brushes. And speaking of brushes, this is the brush that I'll be using to do the shave with, which is Badger Hair, and by, made by the very talented brush maker, Eric Johnson of EB Lathe Works. I like to call this one Autumn Bliss. Now the razor that I'll be using is the Corner Vintage Straight. As you can see, it's full wedge and actually it's in superb condition, uh, except for the scales, of course. Now I actually have the matching aftershave for this one, which is nice as I don't always have the luxury of having that when I review a soap. Now it is witch hazel based, so if you don't like alcohol based, then this will be right up your alley. So I would suggest it if you're interested. Now, making a lather, I found, is pretty easy with this soap, but watch the water as it's easy to overhydrate. I have used many different styles of brush with this soap, and the results are all the same, so whatever brush you have on hand will work just fine. As you can see in this later shot, it's made plenty of lather for multiple passes rather quickly. Now, lathering on the face, I noticed the scent to be mid-strong, which is rather unusual. It's been my experience that cologne-based soaps seem to be heavy-scented as a rule. There are several notes to this one to include lavender, basil, tobacco, clary sage, sandalwood, musk, and amber, just to name a few. Uh, regarding the lavender, I only get the back end of the scent note on that one, so I would not put this in as a lavender-based profile, despite it being listed. My first pass with the grain as always, nice and smooth. Now this wedge straight is due to its design can stick to the face while shaving you know, from the surface tension between the face of the blade and your skin. So it's very important that you employ a slick shave soap when using one of these. And as you can see, the soap did not disappoint. The razor glided with ease and allowed total control of my downward strides. Now the second pass is important here as I check to see if it is slick enough to avoid irritation. Applying the lather is one way to do just that and I found no issues here there as I laid it on as thick as I'd be cementing a patio. I noticed plenty of residual slickness giving a strong indication that the post shave is going to be decent as well as the subsequent passes. And as you can see here I'm not showing any signs of irritation as I run the blade on its cross strides, watching the angle as I do. Some of the movements that I do tend to be rather unconventional, I know, but ask me if I care and you'll get an earful of how much I don't.
Now the results for this third pass were almost identical with both lathering and shaving. And it's another thing I wanted to mention is the density of this soap. The soap retains water really well, so for us slower shavers, the lather won't dry out in between passes. Some soaps are not exactly very good at doing this. And so now we're all cleaned up. Things are put away and we are officially entering the post shave. I like to start off with them with some Thayer's Witch Hazel, regardless of the type of aftershave I use. Part of my routine works for me and that's just the way it is. Here we have my Jack Daniels bottle and it appears that I need to fill it a little bit sooner rather than later. Now next, of course, is the aftershave, which I mentioned before is Witch Hazel based. But first we're gonna rub this right on. Work it into the skin a little bit. Doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to slap your face like you see the Three Stooges do. And then we can put this away. So here's the aftershave. And I love aftershave and I apply it liberally with each shave that I do, regardless of what anybody else says. The aftershave is pleasant and rather nourishing. And this scent, like the soap, is mid-strong and has a staying power of about four hours, for those of you who are wondering. Putting it on, I felt virtually no sting as the shave was done very well. And again, there's no alcohol in this. A little bit up on the head, never hurt either. Okay, so there you have it. The shave is completed. No irritation, nice and smooth and smelling like a million bucks. Thanks very much for joining me, folks. We'll see you guys and girls in the next shave.